It's not going to be a long video. I promise you that. And we're going to make it quick. And then I'm going to take get off for just a little bit to restock these back on the towers. And again, I'm going to refer you back to video one on how this is all going to work. And then you could also see what I am looking at on my inventory. You'll understand what I mean by towers. I have two towers front and back with straws, keychains, pop sockets. And um, that's what's on my towers. And let me real quick. My husband's watching Jokers. So parting the interruption on that. Let me tell you what. I have an inventory on the keychains and I have five or six here that I showed I believe yesterday, actually last night, that will be going into inventory. I will refer you back to last night. Um, three, wait, keychains, I have 255 in inventory, plus five or six that will go into inventory as well. And I'm always making new ones to go along the way. So on pop sockets, I have three that will go into inventory probably later tonight. Um, and then three more following right behind it. So I'm going to be working on pop sockets next. So I do have 390 to share and I will put three more and they'll be popped right into uh, showing you as I go along. Um, so the keychains right now will be done for now. And then as I collect more stuff after these videos are done um, and I may show them along the way as I show you the other stuff. Um, I did kind of highlight everything in the first video. Um, I will not work directly with the post office because I now do have my own shipping system prior before when I did de-stashes and sales, when I did sell supplies and when I did my soap, I had to work, I worked with the post office only uh, because, um, and I did priority shipping. Um, I did the post office and I do not have to do that anymore because I have my own shipping machine system and I can tell you exactly what it's going to cost. I have my own scale. Um, so I'll be able to help you with that. Again, I refer you back to that. And uh, I'm working on cleaning my house because I'm preparing for Halloween. And I am a big Halloween person. At the same time, I'm getting ready to set up and work and make all of my all natural bath and body um, line. Um, and when I mean line, um, I originally started with my ceramic shop. And um, I had a full setup for a ceramic shop. I no longer do ceramic shop because I could not take the bulk of my molds with me because molds for ceramics are very, very heavy. So I did not, I had to stop making and doing my ceramic shop. Um, and then I got into my all natural um, bath and body products. Now, if you guys remember me doing that um, 10 years ago or so, I had to slow down doing that, but uh, I'm back on doing that and it's full lines. Uh, it's going to be a full women's line and I'm adding a men's line. And then I'm also doing a pet line. So you guys are going to be very happy about that. So stay tuned here. So let me get into doing the last of the keychains. Okay. These are the last of the keychains that are currently in stock. Again, I do have more. So these guys are the alphabets. Um, you've seen them everywhere. These are my versions. And if you guys want something that's a little more uh, a certain design that you want, please let me know. But this is what I have made and what I have in stock. I'm going to sell out what these are, but those would be custom. And again, I will charge a little bit more for custom. So I'm going to go in alphabetical order. And I also have 10 numbers. If by chance you want uh, two letters, please let me know. And again, I'm going to sell out what I have first. And then um, again, at the same time, I am setting up my all natural bath and body line. I am working on my closet. My closet will hold all my supplies and my stock for that. Um, and that is weirdly my closet. I got the other side of the house, so it's no good for me for a coat closet. So we're going to start with the letter A. It's super cute. Um, some of them have flowers, some of them don't. I do have four A's in stock. This one has little uh, flowers in them, and I'm only going to pick one in each stack to show you, okay? So I have four in the letter A section, and again, I'm going to show you one in each section. Because for me to take all of them out, you guys would be very annoyed with me. So I'm going to show you the for, uh, one in each section. And I'm just going to randomly pick one in each one like I have been. So this one has gold uh, keychain. This one has a bronze keychain. That one has rose gold. And that one has gold. So I'm going to go through each and every one of them. This one actually has dried flowers put in this one. And it has a cream colored tassel to match the actual flowers in it. This one is blue. And it has some... Um, 
like a sea green with it. And it has a key, uh, our charm on it that says always and a heart on it. I don't know if you can see that. This one is actually a rose gold keychain with a rose gold bicycle on it. This one is um, pearlized in the back. This is a two-tone. So it is one side of it is one color. It is a pearlized color in the back. And then it is clear on the front with some glitter in it, both in a little burst and then a pink. And this one does have a unicorn in it. This one is black and uh, clear with some uh, gold flaking in it with an airplane. Again, if by chance you don't like the uh, charm, please let me know. I can change it out, but I can't guarantee that I may or may not have um, a charm to your liking because, of course, I have done close to 800 um, 800 uh, keychains, but I'll see what I can do to your liking. I probably easily have um, crystals, so that should be fine for something. I, I always have stars or hearts, so. And, and they are glass uh, crystal. So if you guys like these, these are the letter A. And I'm going to try to keep them somewhat in order, at least on the pegs for me to put back. So letter B. B, yay. Okay, these are very pretty too. Let me see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. I try to go with the, the ones that are more popular. I try to make sure I had more of those. So this one has flowers in it. These are a little pink. These are clear with the little pink flowers in it. And those are, when I say flowers, they are real dried flowers. And it has the pink leather tassel and gold. This one is fire and ice with the mylar look to give you that, um, the glass, diuretic glass look. And it's with silver here with the um, um, rose roses on the gun. So that is that one. And then this one, of course, like the other one, I did a whole series very similar and close that were, it is two-tone. Oh, I didn't show that. Let me, I didn't even show one of these. I want to make sure I showed one of these. So let me show you the two-tone. I'll show you a two-tone on the B. Let me show the flower. Let me show you the A on that. I did not show that one. I am I'm so sorry. Let me show you the two-tone A on the other two-tone. I apologize. This is a two-tone. I feel bad now. This is a two-tone. See where it's the like sage green on the back? It is a two-tone with a little blue on the front. I'm sorry. Very pretty. I almost forgot about that. See, I caught myself. I didn't want you guys to think that I totally forgot. I caught myself. Okay, so going back to the A's. Um, let me show you this one so you guys can see this one. This is the bicycle. So you can see that there is a unicorn up here in the front. It's in the glitter. With the rose gold bicycle. I would definitely want to show you that bee that was the flowers. It's two-tone. If the phone bounces, I apologize. And I said I wouldn't try to show you more than one of each one, but this one's really pretty. And this is clear. Sometimes there will be bu bubbles because I do not have a pressure pot, but I try to warm up the resin to keep from doing that. Again, I will remind you guys that resin is not perfect, but all my resin is food touch safe. When resin can, people say that it is food safe, that means it is food touch safe. That does not mean you can put it in a dishwasher. That does not mean that you can put it in a microwave. That means you have to use room temperature to a um, lukewarm, not scalding hot. It will melt. It does not mean you put it out in sunlight. It will melt. This one has a crown, like a, no, this one has a lotus. And this is all red glitter, chunky glitter. And this is red and green, and I believe there's a little blue to this one. There is a, no, this is this Christmas one. This is red and green with a, with a um, reindeer. And then, of course, this is the black and gold. And this is with the Louvre. See, I remembered it this time, guys. If you've been following me, I remembered the Louvre. I was trying to make sure I did not forget that. 
So those are the bees. I kept myself busy. You guys thought, you were wondering where I've been this whole time. I do have other videos that I have been keeping up with. I am slowly putting them on. Going on to see Charming Custom Crafts. And I have five of them. I have this one with the little orangish uh, yellow flowers with the leather tassel and silver, the matching. This one has a little white flower and then it has the starburst and then gold flaking and clear with a little flower here in gold. This one is like a really pretty blue and it's pearlized. It is solid blue. And then with the camera, this is very sparkly blue. I made it to go with the color of Cinderella's dress. That is a Disney Cinderella castle. And then that one goes with the black and gold collection that I did. And I believe that is a French coin. So let me see which one that I can show. Let me show you this one. I will eventually show you one of the black and gold ones. Again, I want to go through this video very quickly because there are 26 letters and 10 numbers. Very sparkly, and then there's the castle. If you guys want an additional uh, charm, if I have something to your liking, um, I will do my best to accommodate, um, depending on the size. I probably will do a, probably a dollar charm. There you go. Moving on to the letter D. This is very pretty. Let me see. I have one, two, three. I have six Ds. And this one was with pink and a little sage color leaves. Very similar to the letter B with a pink magenta leather tassel. This is uh, black and green with a hammer on the letter D. This is a pink back with uh, unicorns, starburst, and a little chunky. And that one has a Cinderella shoe charm. This one's an angel with the black and gold. And again, this one is just the... Um, Unicorns and pink and starburst. There is just this is just a solid um, of that glitter, and it has I believe it's a castle. Yeah, it's got a castle, and this has a blue backing. This is a good one. This has a dragon. I'll show you that one. I guess I had two dragon charms. Let's show that one. Since it's a two tone, it's got the purplish blue on the back. And it's got a um, opal effect on the front. And it does have a dragon. And there are your letter D's, folks. I'm trying to make some masculine for you. And again, that is green sparkle with black ivory, black I have ebony. Go on the E. It's in the back. And again, if you're looking for more of a masculine one, I do my best to do my masculine ones. And this is a little like rose in the corner with a little leaf here and then some white flowers along through here. And that is a pink shimmer leather tassel on silver. Like a mermaid style glitter with rose gold, and a blue leather tassel, shimmer tangerine colors, uh, resin with a yellow leather tassel, and then this is very pink uh, resin sparkly with a heart with the key. So let me see which one I will show. Let me show this one since I pretty much have already shown the other style, and there are four letter E's. Again, I'm so excited to start on the pop sockets today. 
And there's a lot of them. I'm sure you guys are going, okay, let's get to them. And they're all uniquely made. There are no two alike. And a lot of them are hand painted on a reverse canvas. And they will range from anywhere from $10 to $35. And I will tell you that right now. Um, on to the letter F. They are not paper resin type design like the real pop sockets. They are all handmade. And this one's really pretty. Um, with the little bitty flowers in here. And green with the pink tassel here to match that little flower up in here. That little flower leaf. On the F with the pink tassel. This is a very purple one with purple sparkly. And it has a motor, is it a motorcycle or a key? It has a motorcycle. Okay. And this is like an amber to an amber, this is amber diuretic looking glass to an amber light color over here with a little birdie on the perch. And this is a sea design with sea color and seashells with a mermaid here in bronze. And then again, back to the black and gold. And let me show you the black and gold. Sometimes the um, ebony is more prominent on the black than the front. As you can see, it's more the gold, more prominent on the black. Just depends on how it merged with a beautiful flower and uh, charm. It's just how it blended as it merged. So I have five F's. We're just going to keep on going. And then let's go to G. I know you guys are getting excited. Enjoy these videos. This one's really pretty. That's like, oh, I got to show you that one. And this is a, like the diuretic glass. And that one has a little frog on it. Is it a frog or a beetle? No, that's like a um, ladybug or a beetle. Ladybug. That one's so pretty. I'm going to have to show you guys one of those. Maybe I'll show you that one. And this is a G that's in purple and glitter here with a microphone. And then another C one with a world globe. And that world globe does spin. And then this one, this one's really pretty. And that one has the green tassel to match the leaves. And these, again, once again, are real flowers that's embedded. And it's got little flowers and leaves inside of that. Let me show you this one. This one's real pretty. And I have four Gs, folks. I keep thinking this. Look how pretty that is. I like to call this one, like, when I do things like this, like fire and ice, this is fire to me. Very pretty. The only ones that will be a little bit more expensive are the ones with the flowers in them because the flowers do. And if you go and look, you're welcome to go and look how much even a small amount of these little flowers cost. <laughs> they get really expensive. And it's a, usually when I do this, it's a two-part pour. Anytime I have to embed something, it gets very expensive. Or time, not, but, well, not only expensive, but time-consuming. It's just like even putting um, crushed seashells and something do take um, extra time and I have to go back and do a second pour. And when I do it just with glitter, it doesn't take as long. G, H. On to H. We are working our way through. We are working it. Okay, so I have five H's. Again, there are going to be some with more letters, um, more amounts than others because I was thinking about different people, whether they're more common first names on letters or more common last names. And then this one has these little bitty spread out flower uh, petals and then little flowers here. I might show this one. And then I have seashells in this one. This one has a seahorse. This one has that more of a teal sage tassel and gold. This one's really pretty. I'll have to show one like this. And again, another purple with a harp, diuretic glass look here. And this one has, um, this one has a pegasus. I didn't even know I put a pegasus in there. And that one has an owl. That's another black and gold. And again, the gold merged to the back. So that one's pretty. That one's pretty. 
And I'm going to go ahead and share this one with the seashells. Those are real seashells. That is, that's part four. And these shells I found when I was in Key West would be all over the beach, but they, you have to clean them. And they're actually darker. The thing of it is when you clean them to get them this pretty white, you have to um, boil them. So they actually come off the beach with, you, you can see that like the striations that are darker. They're actually a dark brown, but to clean them to get the bacteria off of them when you boil them, they lose those beautiful colors sampling. So you guys can see that it is embedded in there. And then your little seahorse. I do have some that look more like an ocean wave. It depends on what alphabetical letter you are, what mood I was in. And then I, ah, the eyes have it. Woo! Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and I have five eyes. This one's pretty cool. These are actually, that's a black leaf and a green leaf. I thought that was seriously awesome. And that's like a celery color. And that's a celery color black leather tassel. And this is the black and gold with a peace sign. And this one has a little bitty, um, I did put little bitty flowers in this one. Little bitty pieces of flowers. And that's got a little star. So this one actually has two colors. That one, these two are the little glass balls. With the little sparkles, these sparkles kind of match the sparkles in here in this eye. And so did this one. So I thought this one was way too cool. So these two have the little glass balls. This one has flowers. And then this one has flower leaves that match. So let me show. What have I not shown? Let's go ahead and show this one. I think I've showed the purple, but I love the glass balls so much. You can see all the little glass balls. They're holographic little stars. Very shiny gold. Two-tone. Here's your eyes. The eyes have it. And again, be careful with the glass balls. They will break. But it'll be like confetti when it pops. If you pop it, just so you know it. But it would be a fun day when it pops. You'd be like, well, happy new year. Or happy birthday. H-I, we're going to J. Is it J? We're going to J, H-I-J. Yep, we're going to J. And we have four J's. These are pretty. I'm going to show you this one, definitely, for sure. And this one has metallic here with a beautiful flower to match. It will spread open. And this is like a creamy yellow um, with metallic flaking in it. And this one has blue glitter with the gold and a little bit of red a touch. And it says, life is a gift. And then again, this is the gold and ebony. And this has a uh, anchor and a... a Ship's wheel. So I really want to show you this one. Okay, I am building up the excitement. I cannot wait to start showing you the pop sockets or the foam grips because they're not straight up. Look how pretty that is. This almost looks like a, a tail off of a whale. Isn't that pretty? And I love this because of my son's name and then my maiden name. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And look at that blue. See, I matched it perfectly. So pretty. Almost it's starting a little. It's like popped a little bit to the back. So you can feel the flower a little bit on the back. You can tell it's a flower. It's real. The real dried flowers. So four J's, guys, that's it. That's what I got in stock. The only reason why I'm not going to push um, custom right now, and I when I go to complete custom, I'll be able to put your actual name on the front of them. 
and then embed it and seal it in is because I am working on um, getting my all natural line lined up. And when I go, it's going to go, I'll be able to do, I'm doing cuticle oil, eye, create, uh, eye, dry, um, eye creams and beard, boy, beard oil, beard balm, beard scrubs. I'm doing a whole new lineup. And then I promise that I, I think I showed you the black and gold. Here's the seashells. And then here is the, um, I was thinking like peppermint when I started doing the red and red and white. Um, so there is a masquerade mask. And then uh, I'll show you this one since I've already showed you guys the other one. There's a turtle. That's in bronze. And then that one has, this one's like a, a brat's like symbol of a girl skull. And again, if you guys want me to change it, I'll do my best to put something else on it. I can put a, a rose, probably a rose flower, a rose gold flower on that one. Um, if you guys want me to change it out. So I'll show you this one. And I only have so many um, masks. So there was only so many of those that I did have. Um, I'm going to be doing a new series of alphabet letters. Um, once I get set up, I have some plans to do a, a really neat looking series of how it swirled around on um, after I poured it. So cool. Because I pour both colors at the same time. And you just never know how it's going to swirl. I pour it here and here and then here and then I pour a little extra to see how it swirls. Never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. You just never know. It just always comes out so pretty. My grandmother was a big fan of red. She literally painted almost everything she owned red. It was um, too much, trust me. She's crazy over red. A little bit too much. I would say she was obsessed with the color red. I'm a big patriotic person, H-I-J-K-L, we're going on to L. I mean, even before it became a fad after September 11th, I had to stop because I used to do my tree in my house all patriotic and then it, people, I mean, it's funny because I even did family photos in my children's pictures. I did it around, it was September 1st when I did pictures of my children patriotic and um, I had military shirts and all kinds of stuff and they came in like, because it was a J.C. Penney's. And um, it came in like four or five days after September 11th. And everybody goes, oh, what a great idea, blah, 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 blah. What a way to support, da, da, da. I'm like, dude, you do. And they're in there getting pictures done, and they just had them done. I said, did they not just tell you it takes like three weeks for them to come in? And I said, mine just came in. Well, then why would you have them done? I said, I don't know, because they're Army brats? Duh. <laughs> he said, my children are Army brats. Oh, yeah, just can't explain stupid to stupid. Um, anyway, so here are the L's, and of course you've already seen this design before, and it's done in rose gold. Like I said, I did a series of them, and this one might be straight up ebony gold or, or sparkle, and probably now that one no, that one I'll have to show. I'll show that one, and then this one's all red with the wings. And that's full blown wings. You can see how large that charm is there, and then this one of course has a white leaves with a little green up in it and just tiny little pink flowers and I put it was it was so heavenly I went ahead and put this bluish tassel to it. it's very pretty this one I'm going to show because this one's different it does have the gun charm to it and again if you don't want the gun charm I can switch it out there'll be other people be like oh I want the gun charm so you can see that I put clear on the top and this has a blue Deep blue background. That is why you can see how it went down in there. Very cool. I wanted to go with like a... That was cool. You can see how it was like a steel blue in the back. That was my steel gun. And so that is that one. So those are my four L's. There you go. There's the L's. M's. I got quite a bit of M's. I have one, two, three, five M's. They're very, very beautiful. 
I'm going to show you the big M here. It's so pretty. And again, there's the black and uh, gold one, and it has a little moon on it as a charm. This one is the purple and sparkle glitter with a big bird charm. This one is the copper metal with that's clear, and it has the copper stars of glass bubble. And this is the blue sparkle with, what is that charm? Oh, that is a huge dragon head. I'm going to show the charm, but I'm going to pop the whole thing out. It's a huge dragon head. So somebody's going to score on this if you've written it for a guy. It's the only one I had on that one. I'm pretty sure it was the only one. So look at that huge dragon head charm. Huge score on that charm. So that's a huge charm. This one I'm going to show on the M. Yeah, we are moving right along. I think we're close to halfway through the alphabet. Look how pretty that one is. I don't know if I can put it against this. I don't think you're going to see it too well. Look at the, the colors that are in it. And you can see why. You can see the colors that are little flowers. It's this color here. It's not helping that it's cherry wood behind this. So, But it's it's beautiful. You can see the veins that are in the leaves. So pretty. And I wish once again that I had a pressure pot. It's coming. I'm going to get a pressure pot and a drying oven. Yet. I'm just going to, we're looking at buying about 50 feet next door before, because that abandoned house, if you guys have been keeping up with me, has been sold for a long time. I mean, the person that's owned it just hasn't done anything with it. He's finally um, redoing the house, and they agreed for us to put an offer on about 50 feet of the property. And then we're wanting to build a, a an outbuilding out there, so because and, and we are um, we put a down payment for a cyber truck finally. It's not a big deal because it's going to be like two years before we get it. But uh, the Ford Papa, Papa truck, Paw Paw truck is going out there. My trailer, uh, Charlotte's, tra Charlotte's Chariot's going to go over there and um, the tractor, everything. And then we're going to take all the Halloween and Christmas and do the second floor up on that. And I told my husband I'll put him a half bathroom out there. Um, but eventually, when I get the guest house done, this is why I'm working and doing all this because I'm going to finish the house and do the guest house with everything that I make. And um, that way, when I finish all that, then I'm going to build a building out back for that. And then I'm going to build a small shed. But it's, it's going to look kind of like a shed, but it's going to be my portrait studio for small babies. I'm going back into my photography. I already started building my stuff, my stuff for my photography because I used to be a professional. So that's my black and gold. And again, it moved to the back. It got heavier. Our part of it, the, the black was heavier. And then because I use an oxide pigment for the black. And then um, the, believe it or not, the metal was actually lighter. The metal foil was lighter. So, um, so here again, you guys have already seen this. And I'm going to show you this one probably this time. And then this one's a purple with a leaf. Or not leaf, feather. This one has acorns. Very pretty. I'm going to show you that one. This one has an open um, uh, leaf that you can see the vines or veins for the gold and black. This one's really pretty. It has a mix of flowers. I went with the coordinating little flowers down here to match up here. Very pretty for the end. So I have four ends. And we are definitely moving right along here. Look how pretty that is. And it does all clear the diuretic look up here, the red diuretic glass. You can see that. And I believe this is the only one I had on the acorn. Isn't that pretty? Look how cute they are. My little nuts. Every time I think of nuts, I think of the commercial that they made fun of. You're going to love, 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 love my nuts. I actually made that. My, my husband mixed it for my, my, my ringtone one time. And every time it would go off, people would just stare at me, and I'd just sit there and just giggle. <laughs> I'm crazy. 
That was in, and we were working on, oh, give me an O. I'm thinking of cheerleading. There's a cheer that goes with that. We are O's, and we are O, O, O-ing more than halfway through, and I have three O's. So, again, we have the purple, but I have a big bow and arrow here for somebody on a charm on that one. We have the sea glass look with the little seashells, and that, if you flip it over, should be a seashell. Let's see if we can just open it up and flip it. And then I'm going to show you the flowered one. This has just got some seashell, crushed seashells from a mussel. See the little seashell here? There we go. So for those that are joining and, and coming in and out, I appreciate you guys popping in and saying hi. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And if you're new to the channel, make sure that you follow because I don't just do resin. I don't just do all natural bath and body products. I do dirty, I do painting and dirty pour painting and knitting, loom knitting and, and scrapbooking and all kinds of stuff. I'm not a one trick pony. Look how pretty that is. And I might have a surprise. I'm trying to convince my mom she's leaving her boyfriend and I'm trying to convince her to come live with me. And if she lives with me, boy, I'll tell you what, she's going to have a whole lot of stuff to teach y'all. Because, I mean, if you guys watch the videos with my mom's stuff, look at all the little pretty purple flowers. And I put some sage in that one. Look at that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? If my mama comes, my business is going to expand even more exponentially. And she'll even be able to teach um, you guys how to uh, can. So thumbs up to that. Help me encourage my mama to come. Because if my mama comes to join, imagine what my mama can teach y'all. So that's the O's. Oh, okay. Let's move on to O, M, O, O, M, M, N, O, P. We are moving on to P. We are just moving on. Okay, so here's our P. P is pretty. And again, that's black and gold. That is a black and gold one. What is on the black and gold here? What is that? He just flipped around on me. Oh, it was right there. I guess we're going to have to pop part of that out. Just to see that charm. What is it hiding? Oh, it's a peace sign. Look at that. Look how cute that is. I ordered, I had a whole bunch of charms. I sold a bunch of charms. And I go in this other seashells. And this one also has the, the seahorse here. That one has the PC pants with, for the PP pants. For the, for the P. The peace sign, not the P. Oh, yeah. Forget me. <laughs> Forgive me, folks. I have four Ps. There, I, it's the puns. I couldn't help it. Forgive me. It's easier to show it on the hologram. There's not a thing I can do. <gasps> my jukebox is popping on. Did you see the color that just went over here? Yeah, I love my jukebox. Oh, look. At, boy, I don't know if you guys can see that the, the veins in those leaves are just so darn pretty. I love the veins that I can share and showcase. That's a reason why I didn't make that a solid color. No solid behind those leaves. You would have never been able to see the vine, uh, the veins in the, in, in those leaves. They're just so pretty. So there's your peas. So there's four of them. Peas, please. Peas, peas. So I got four peas for you, folks. Again. I was going to get back to doing more, and I will get back to them, but I'm going to try to sell those out because I have some really, really cool ideas. P, M and O, P, Q for my queens out there. I have some Qs for my queens. We are all queens, period. So there's the Q there. Isn't that pretty? You can see the center of those little flowers. They're just pretty with a black my leaves there, and that's this big open flower here at the cross right here. And there's little flowers here, then there's leaves in between. And that is a silvery white here. It's a mystical little one there. And this is a multicolor with blues and pinks on here with the pink leather tassel. These are both leather tassels. And then there's the black and green, um, the ebony with the green sparkle with the butterfly there. 
So those are my cues. There's a person at my front window. Is somebody delivering? I probably have a delivery I've been waiting on. Um, as long as my dogs don't get it. I'll tell you what, when Lily passed away in April and the song was Who Let the Dogs Out, I have discovered the QR. Uh, I finally discovered a song that makes my doggies happy. We are on art. Oh, look at that art. Look how pretty that is. And then there's a sparkly one. I did another one for the guys. And then again, there's the multi-color here. I finally discovered, is that a bunny? Yeah, there's a little bunny there, a little happy hoppy. And then uh, this has got blue with the pink. It's like a party and a party and a handbag right there. And um, I think I've showed you guys this. This has got the green. Has it got the green? Let me see if it's got the green. No, this is all blue sparkly for a guy, and it's got the it's got the car here. What's it say? It says harder or hardly. Harder or hardly. I think he's here. Maybe my husband's outside, but I don't think so. And I haven't seen any deliveries at my front door, so I wonder who's at my front door. And look how pretty that is. That's a coral flowers with a coral leather strap. Who in the heck is at my front window? Hey, no! No! I'm going to plant those next year. What are you doing? Those are my babies for the backyard. My husband cutting my damn baby sagas. Sorry, folks. That makes me mad. I've been growing those out because we had all that freeze. You hear going to be going rounds over that. Yep, can't hide that from y'all. Okay, so I got the blue background here and then the confetti to match. I added that with the pink party mix of glitter and then the bunny. Oh, yeah, you know I'm going to be getting out of debt. And then I'm going to be going rounds on that. I lost all my sagas. With our Texas freeze, everybody did. And those sagas at that size cost about 90 bucks a piece. RS. We're going on to S. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six S's. Pinks and greens, whites, um, and purples here. And I put the purple to match that one here on the leather tassel on gold. And then this one's my sea sand one. I'm going to show you that one. And this, again, is the black and gold one. I'll get back to what that says. And that's a star. And another seascape one that's got, like, sea glass and crushed seashells. And then a seashell here, and then this one, I might have to show you that one, and that's another dioramic one. And this one says fashion. It's got a little piece there like a book, and it says fashion. And this one's got, like, water on the back. So it's got water on the back and the sea on the front, sand on the front. So sea and sand. And it's got another seashell on that one. Mm -mm -mm. You close the garage door because I can see the notes on my phone. Okay, so we're going to show you this one where it's like clear right here like the water bubbles were rushing in. There's a little whitish here and there's sand. You can see some seashells that I embedded into here. It's very pretty. This is never, never give up. Isn't that perfect timing for that phrase? No, I do not. It doesn't like me very well. Don't really care. Two, three, four, five, and six. 
There's the S's, folks. Let's go on to T for temper. <laughs> and I'm controlling it. Yep. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, there's the black and gold. The gold is more on the back with a little turtle. T for turtle. And then this one has like the purple on the back with the ivory um, opaque in the front. And then that has a little dark purplish black flower and gold. And this one's so pretty. Look at the blue. And see when I said it had the little flowers, that's what the little flowers are that almost look like multiple little stamens here with the blue leather tassel. And then I just showed you this in the S where it's got the wispiest water and the clear water like at the front of the uh, sand right at the front right there where the water starts to bubble up and it looks almost white. The phrase there says love and be loved. Yeah, I need to take that to heart right now. And then, of course, this is the glitter and the starburst and with the pink background in here. And it has a double hearts. I made sure when I have little hearts like that, I try to put double hearts. So it's got two double hearts here. And let me show you that one. Love and be loved. Let's keep going. Two little double hearts. And there's a there's a unicorn galloping in the back. And you see those tiny little hearts or stars right there? See it's clear and then pink. You know that's not gonna be a pleasant conversation when I get off live. Because I've probably told them 20 times. I get it doesn't look very pretty out there. I don't really care. I'm re landscaping the front yard and I lost all um, my, my sagas in the back. They might have come back, but he tore them all off. It's T -E -T -U. You know it. I have three U's. Oh, this one's real pretty. I'm going to show that one. And I'm going to show you why. This one has a crab. That's a seascape with a little bit of sand back here. And then uh, the sea, like the sea, the sea glass with the crushed. Crushed, real crushed shells. That's the inside of mussels. And then there's your little crab here that I tried to match. He's got little eyes. You see him? Isn't he, darling? And then again, this is the, the full purple and purple glitter here. And that is a crystal heart, real crystal heart. And then I'm going to show you this one because the flowers. These are actually little roses. And I pulled each tiny little petal apart. And try to make sure that I went in the U shape. He also knew I was live. That's why he thought I wouldn't say anything. Aren't men fantastical? There you go. Look how pretty. Isn't that lovely? Look at the colors. And see, I tried to peg it. That U is just beautiful. I'm in love with this one. Again, I can't keep it all. It's not like charms when I was a kid and I had a ton of collection. I don't know what happened to that collection. I have garbage pail kids too. I'm really regretting getting rid of my garbage pail cards. It'd be worth a fortune right now. There's you. We are almost done, folks. You, B. We are getting close to the uh, numbers. And then the, the U, the V has, I only have two Vs, so it's getting closer. Because when you know I'm getting down to where there's not a lot of number, or uh, of each, then you know. The V is a peachy color flowers with the peachy color uh, leather. And then um, here's a purple one with a microphone. Uh, you know what, I haven't, I don't know if I showed you this one. So you got to skip, I just showed you a flower one. Let's show you this one with a microphone. Open this up more. Purplish back. See? And then you can see where I used a purple color. A clear purple color. Very light with the glitter. And then look how big your charm is here, folks. So that's where we're sitting on that. 
Here we have two V's. And we're going to keep going. V, W, X, R, V, X. We're going on X, then W. Two X's. This one's pretty. I already showed you one like that, and if I didn't, it's probably going to be the W maybe I show you. I don't know. We got, I think I have quite a few W's because I know that there's a lot of W's. We'll show you this one. Super pretty. That one has a leather tassel on magenta. This one has a leather tassel on like robin egg blue. Look how pretty that one is. So there's your X. There's two of those. Ooh, my temperature rising. Mm -mm -mm. And then he's probably mowing the front yard, which he knows that I love to mow the front yard. I let him do the back. Here's the W's. We got three W's. And then the gold probably sunk to the back. And there's an all pink. Pink one with a little girl with a bonnet. Not bonnet, like a sun hat. That's the charm on that one. We've already shown that one. That one has a guitar. And there's the W. The flowers here up in each corner. The black leaves. There's a tripetal here. There's a little flower here. And then a flower here with a white tassel. Let's show this one. We haven't shown one like this yet. We are almost down to just the numbers. See, it's going fast. See where it's slightly clear. Very pretty pink. And a little girl with a sun hat. Oh, yeah, it's going to go fast. Sorry about but the outburst, folks. Ladies, if you were growing something out after a freeze, you'd be pretty upset yourself. And then uh, Y, and then Z to follow, and then the numbers 0 through 9. There's the Y here, and this is like um, a champagne color with a little bit of magnetic copper. And that has a tiny little mouth. Look at that. I don't think I've shown you that one. So, and this one has a cherub here on the purple here. And then this one has the tangerine tassel with the tangerine flowers. So let's show you this one. It's for somebody who likes their letter but wants it to be a little more simplified. But that mask is to die for. Look at that. Sorry for the little wobbly. Very cute. There are your three Y's. And let's go to the last letter of the alphabet and then on to the numbers. And again, if you don't want to look at the numbers, you do not have to. But it is up to you. So if you wanted like P5, if it means something. I don't think I have shown you one of these yet, so I think I'll show you that one. This is like a sage to pink on flowers, and there's a sage uh, leather tassel on gold. This is the gold to the ebony, and it has a gem charm on it. So let me finally show you this one, and then we're going to go um, zero to nine. This one doesn't have as many seashells in it but it is done to make it look like sea glass. And this has a mermaid charm on it. No matter which way you flip her, she looks like she's backwards. And it's in bronze. You know, men just do not mess in that. Sorry, gentlemen, if you're listening. Though at the same time, you're probably not listening to that comment. Okay, let's get to the letters, and if those who don't want to listen to this anymore because you're not interested in the letters or, or the numbers, you do not have to, and then you can stay tuned to, uh, I'll be back on a little bit later because as soon as I get done with this, um, I'll probably go outside and say something, obviously, because one, he's mowing the front yard for the third week in a row when he knows that I'd love to mow the front yard. That is like my natural release of energy. Um, and I needed that after putting my dog down last week. And then he knows that I 
I enjoyed him out. And again, he's taken it away. Um, and then, um, yep. And then, um, and I'll put these away and then I'll be right back, literally, because I want to, I have a lot of pop sockets to get to. And then, uh, okay, here, so here's the sage again and then the pink. And then I have the sage tassel here in silver or, and silver and then leather. And then let me show you this one. This has the infinity charm on it. And then this one has a funny bunny. This one's a funny bunny. And I've already showed you this with the pink and the glitter. This one I put more gold in this one so it would showcase the keychain more. Hmm. Again, that's just an infinity charm. I'm just debating. I think I want to show the funny bunny. I have three zeros. Again, we are close to being funny. This funny bunny is playing tennis. Super cute. See, it doesn't have the pink background. This is why it's so much more shinier. Because when I put a second layer on it, it actually meets it a little bit. It's super shiny like more glass. So there's your zero. Here's the thing, when I get everything set up for both uh, both parts of this part of the business, because later on after Christmas I will be selling supplies, when I get to that part of the business I will also be just randomly making all these letters and numbers and things. Uh, I will just randomly sell them. I will purposely just make them and sell them so those for anybody out there who wants them, um, I'll just sell them and then you can do what you please with them. So here's the letter one or number one and it's with pink flowers and the pink tassel and leather. And then there's the one in black with a four leaf clover. Gold, uh, the diuretic glass here, it says you and me. And I'm gonna show you this one that so you understand it's not diuretic glass, it's obviously uh, resin. So you understand what diuretic glass is. It's actually a glass that um, looks like it's sort of on fire. It can be in a variety of looks. Um, and this one, you can see how pretty it is. So if you want to know what diuretic glass looks like, and I only made it to look like it was only on one side. But I can reenact the look with different types of items. So on one side it's black, on the other side it looks like diuretic glass. And then it does have you and me on a term. But it is, it's almost like hologram. So I have three number ones. So in theory, I did one of each letter and alphabet and flowers. Number two. And again, this one's in pink and sage with a uh, green leather tassel. And then this one has um, a, a, a phrase charm that says peace. I may stop pulling some of these out because I think I've seen, shown you so many of them. And this one has the long confetti glitter in it. Because I think you guys have seen so many of them because I did a whole series, a lot of them. Sometimes I just had extra um, resin and I just did them. And then sometimes I just had literally extra resin and I made uh, an alphabet letter. And this is more uh, pink, and it does have a little bit of green sage in here, and it's got a pink leather tassel. And again, the same for this other side, so I'm not going to pull any of these out. And this is Life is Good on that charm. So I'm not going to pull either one of these out because I've already shown you these two. Basically, before that was the number three. I have two number threes. Going on to number four. Um, again, little pink flowers. Um, I might show you that one. No, that one's the purple with the the uh, ivory uh, pearlized diuretic on flop, top with a dragonfly, and then the pink tassel here. So I have two number fours. Again, if you've been watching the whole video, you would have basically seen the design. So there's two number fours. If you did not, please kind of skip backwards. For those who have watched the whole video, I do not want to waste your time. Um, <clears throat> and again, with the, the number five, it has more like little tiny little roses in this one, but it's more or less the same thing. And that, But this one you have not seen, but I will show you. This one is a glow-in-the-dark. 
number five with a Mickey Mouse charm on it. So again, I will show you ones that I know that are worth seeing, but that is a glow in the dark number five. I do intend on making a glow in the dark series on both the alphabets and the numbers. For now, I just did a few of them. So number five does glow in the dark. Johnny number five. Two number five. That one's done in silver. See, we were reaching the finish line of all keychains, at least that are currently fully in stock. Again, I have others that are coming, but they're not finished. And then this one is the rose petals and then other little pink leaves. So I did the little mauve to go with a bit of pink leaves with the, um, with the veins that you can see very well. And then this one you have seen before in an alphabetical letter, and it says with the heart charm, with the heart and red and then it says love here so you guys pretty much have already seen those that is gold this one's silver like i said i'm not gonna pull them all out if you guys have basically have already seen them let's go on to seven strike it rich and seven i only have one number seven folks so if i run out and somebody needs it let me know so i had long long leaves and I thought it was perfect to put up this one and down through here but even at these leaves if you get five or six of them they can run you four bucks it's amazing how much they can charge for leaves and it came with some other flowers that cost me like nine dollars um so it can get quite expensive um I mean even I and you guys are going to see this here when I get to it I'm working on three tier cookie trays and the one I did for my mom with the four packs of flowers, the four packs of flowers for my mom that I embedded into hers was $46. Um, and that has nothing to do with the resin. And I double coated the resin and with a special resin. So um, the resin in that, for me to do something like that for somebody, I would probably charge them 90 bucks, if not more. Um, because it was a double coat of resin with the special resin and then the flowers were $46. So yeah, it, it may even be a hundred dollars because it's a double coat of the special resin plus $46 in, in flowers. So I would, I would honestly, I would never, ever, ever do that for somebody because of how many flowers are in it. And I had to do special care plus a special resin insanity. And I'm still working on making sure it's perfect. Plus it's clear. Um, which I currently would not recommend doing a cookie, cookie three-tier cookie play. I wouldn't do it. Um, anyway, so this one, I only have one eight, two. I have like three or four nines, but I have one eight. So this one is um, mauve little flowers in sage. So uh, it's it's very pretty. I think I put a little bit of glitter in this one. And then I have a little mauve pink um, tassel. And again, you have pretty much have seen the same flowers, and these are like, little pine let me show you this one this one's like little tiny little pine um little they're little pine like almost little pine branches um for this one they're very unique um that are in there i don't know if you can see them they're very very unique they're very cool they're and like i said they're very unique little branches the flowers you've seen in some of them, but they're also like little branches. Actually, they almost look like veins around your heart. But it's one of the most unique ones that I've made on numbers. And it's very pretty. I thought it would be perfect for the letter eight. I was trying to wrap around the figure eight infinity look. So that was the number eight. And of course, folks, we are on number nine. And this is going to end currently the tower of inventory of keychains, just of keychains. Um, we will come. There are some more keychains coming. I have some that were sitting here, and I put them back over so I can finish them. I would have finished them, but I showed them. So here's the flower. Look at this great, big, big, big beautiful uh, leaf here, and you can see the coloring. And then, of course, we've seen this before. It's got This is in bronze, and it's got this beautiful detailed uh, star. And then these, this one has a ghost on it, and it does glow in the dark. But this one I did unique-wise, and I've already showed you, but this leaf is just beautiful. It's a full-blown leaf. This one I did unique 
Um, and I wanted to do it uniquely because it did glow in the dark and I had a little fun with this one. And I just, I loved it. So I did this one unique. So because it glowed in the dark and I glittered it, I actually put the charm at the bottom. So it's a very unique number nine. And if you guys like this for the numbers or even the letters, I can do it this way. So if anybody wants it specially done this way, just let me know. Um, it, it would take me a little extra, so I might charge an extra quarter for this design because instead of putting it up here, it would cost me an extra hook and, and an extra two or three links. So just let me know. I would only charge an extra quarter more because it would cost me the extra link or two and an extra um, extra hook. So that would be just a little extra. And so I may only charge the extra quarter for that and then maybe... Maybe, maybe 50 cents more because it's just a little extra time. So, um, yeah, just maybe a little extra time for my extra time and the extra links and stuff. Because believe it or not, those links just take me. I have to go looking for the perfect links because otherwise they're too small. And these links are, if, if you guys do jewelry, you'll understand finding the right links. Or if you do keychains, you understand to find the right link with the right uh, without being too pliable, yeah, it's a pain. Um, it's one thing to order a set, but when you already have so many keychains, you need enough extra links, you understand what I'm referring to. Give me a thumbs up on that. Um, and I have bought so many extra links because of special keychains and uh, other things. But this, I came up with an idea of putting the charm at the bottom. I thought it was kind of neat. So if you like this idea, let me know. And guys, that's going to close me out for keychains. I am by far nowhere near done. Give me a bit to uh, go have a conversation <clears throat> and um, put all this away. And then, um, which really won't take me long, the biggest part of it is making sure I put it back in alphabetical order and number order. That's the reason why I was trying to make sure they went back on the pegs this time. The rest of it was easy before. But... Yeah, the alphabet will screw with your head. So give me give me a little bit, maybe an hour, and I will definitely be back. And um, we are going to move on to the pop socket foam grips. And you guys will thoroughly enjoy those. Uh, again, they are all unique in their own right. And um, let me give you a clue. Um, I will show you a base uh, real quick. I'm not going to show you one yet because I don't want to spoil it. But uh, I will show you a basic place. Um, they are not exactly the same as the original. But uh, real quick, I'll show you one. This is my basis. And technically, the tops do come off. You can see that. And you can pop and trade them off. But I wouldn't. You can come back to me. You can. And they do open up just like the regular ones. I do have the other ones that you can't put your fingers through. I don't like them, but you can request if you want me to give you the one that you can put your finger through. I do have those too. I, I don't use them. None of the ones that I have um, that I have made have used the one that you put your finger through. That would be a custom order. They are cheaper for me to use, but um, no, these can cost me up to $2 fees. Um, but no, but you can if you see that. Unlike the other ones, the uh, the actual name brand can pop off like that. But you can pop them off and use them. And the the folks that I have uh, donated to at the vet office because of I gave some to the vet office for taking care of Lily after her death. Um, they were donated to them for their clipboards and for a very grateful family here. And I did them all in kitties and doggies for them. They were very grateful. And it was my way of saying thank you to them. Um, they are absolutely in love with them. They're all following me right now and waiting very impatiently, <laughs> waiting for me to do this video and for me to post because they're wanting to buy more. <laughs> so, And they know that they got the low upper end of them because they're not fully detailed like the ones that I'm about to release to you guys. So uh, stay tuned here in the next hour or so, and I will show you, start showing you, and um, wait till you see them.